So you found a book or a chart on acupressure points, and you want to know how to stimulate them yourself. Hi, my name is Mark Brinson, Doctor of Oriental Medicine, Physical Medicine and Human Performance Specialist. Acupressure and acupuncture points are basically the same thing, but when you're going to stimulate them by hand, you're going to do it a little bit differently than you would by needle. Needle is a little bit more powerful, so to stimulate them by hand, you have to do it a little bit more vigorously or with a bit of a sharper tool. So I'm going to show you on a point LI11 that's right at the angle of the arm and it's a really good one to practice on because basically you're not going to mess anything up. At worst you're going to uh, boost the immune system maybe and help with the head and neck. So on this point <clears throat> you can just use a fingertip to stimulate in a circular motion. Generally speaking clockwise and counterclockwise are both good. You may want to try both as clockwise is a little bit more stimulating. Counterclockwise is a little bit more sedating. So a fingertip is good. The tip of a nail can be better if you're really specific on a point. So say that you know this point is exactly where you're, you're aiming for. Just kind of giving it a little bit of hard stimulation with a fingernail. If you want to get even more accurate, you can use the tip of a head of an uh, ink pen, all right, by pressing directly on the point and giving a hard stimulation. There's also tools that are made specifically for this, but you don't really need those. The most important thing that you can do is be accurate with the points. So make sure that you not only look at the chart, but pick yourself up a book or look online for resources that have the exact measurements of where these points are. My name is Dr. Mark Brinson. Well, wishing you balance and health in your life.